All right. Is the uh, playing at quarterback pretty similar to what we saw yeah. last week? Yeah, I think I think so. Uh, don't know when exactly, but was expect Jaron to play, and and uh, Will 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 start it, and and we'll kind of go as it as it goes. I think it brings a um, a good dynamic, and and Jaron has done a nice job, and and has put himself in a position to to keep getting some opportunities. So, and how would you? I know he only threw three passes, four if you don't count the one that was flagged. But mm -hmm. how would you assess his performance last week? Uh, I thought he did well. Um, I thought uh, you know he didn't get rattled. He managed the situation well. Um, we even went uh, uh, one time where, where we kind of went in an up-tempo type of mode on him, and, and he handled it really, really well. Where is where's Skyler at <clears throat> right now with his, his recovery for you guys? You know, uh, he, he's, I think he's doing great. Um, you know, I can't tell you that I think he's going to be ready tomorrow or, or two or three weeks from now, but his ability to, to move around and, and throw the football, I, I've been happy with. You expect to see multiple fronts out of Jim Knowles? Defense? Oh, definitely, definitely. That that they, they are they do a great job of, um, especially with the age. Uh, you know, they got a defensive end that's played a bunch that really understands uh, number nine. That really understands, you know, the game. So they will be in four down personnel and line up in three down looks. Um, they'll put him in as a linebacker stood up. They'll slide him back out and uh, and and play as a rush end, even though he's maybe in a two point stance. Um, so we'll see multiple looks. We've got to do a great job handling that. How how satisfying was it when you you lost Josh Brevis briefly to an injury last week, but you know you brought in some new offensive linemen and drove, drove it right down the field. Yeah, you know uh, Josh obviously is a is a huge deal for us because he's been playing extremely well. I think I talked last week even about just probably he's the, played the 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 best football of all of them, um, but we keep hammering those guys on, it's kind of the next guy up. And if you're called upon, you've got to make sure you go in and, and, and do your job and, and everybody's got to count on you. And it was good to see us really do a good job in a number of series, uh, finishing plays, finishing drives, uh, moving the chains. Probably the best thing that we did was stay out of third and long, even though we weren't totally where we didn't have any third and longs. Compared to the first two weeks, we were much more third and manageable. The last six quarters, you've done what you had to do to win games. You've run the ball a lot. Do you suspect you're going to have to put it up in the air? Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, you know, I I told the whiteouts right when the game got over. Uh, you know, we're not going to beat Oklahoma State. We're not going to beat Oklahoma. We're not going to win in the Big Twelve throwing the ball thirteen times. Now, uh, we called more than thirteen, but because of the pressure that Nevada brought, the number of times they blitzed, um, we had a number of run checks against the blitzes so we didn't want to drop back or even run some nakeds against their pressure we, we thought we could handle them um uh, we could we could pick up the blitzes better in the run game we felt like than we could in the passing game so um you know i i anticipate we'll throw the ball much more than we did last week and is that is that kind of the big difference with will howard being able to make some of those checks this year rather than uh, well you know uh he honestly uh I'm not saying he wasn't able to do it a little bit last year because he did but to the extent that he was able to do it this past game um i'm not sure that he missed one of their pressures uh, meaning um, i'm not sure he was caught off guard whether it was getting the protection the correct way or saying hey wait a minute we need to get out of this and run the football um because I, Colin could tell you, tell you the total number that he had, but but he probably checked us 15 times in that game um, because of pressure. How big is it for him to face this type of crowd? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's interesting. You don't think about it, but uh, because of uh, last year, uh, this is really the first time he's been in a hostile environment. Um, you know, uh, being on the road, uh, in the Big 12, really anywhere when you're going to have uh, fans getting after you, whether you're down in the red zone, whether you're coming out, whether it's third down, your ability to handle it and still communicate is a huge key. Um, and I, I think he'll handle it well just because he's 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 pretty mature for his age. Just how, how good and impressive is, is Deuce been? I know we ask it every single week, but just <laughs> some of the plays that he makes on a routine basis. Yeah, uh, you know, the, I, I really believe that uh, – you know, he he doesn't care whether it's in the run game, in the passing game. If I get opportunity, I'm going to try to make the biggest play. Um, I think the thing that's helped him, though, is, you know, having Joe play as well as Joe has, has allowed Deuce to um, 
two things. One, get a little bit of a break and get a, a mindset where I can see how the defense is playing from a different perspective, um, but then also just get him some rest. Um, and, and I hope that we continue to play, uh, shoot, I hope we play at least three tailbacks each week and, and have legitimate carries by all three of them. You feel like you found the right situations for Joe Oregon versus Nevada? Um, yeah, I really do. I, I think that as I talked a little bit last week, um, he just runs so much more violent straight downhill and, and slides off people more than really uh, juking them or making them miss as much as he just slides off an edge and runs through arm tackles. And, and he's got to keep doing that for us because it gives us a little bit of a, uh, a different tempo when he's carrying it than when Deuce is carrying it. How important is it to have him to compliment Deuce? If you want? Last year, you put him out of receiver and the threat level dropped in the backfield. Yeah. Now it doesn't drop that level. No, and that's one of the things as we keep going in the Big 12, we're going to have to do uh, a more and more of what we call uh, ponies, which is two tailbacks in the, in the, in the backfield, um, just because Joe is a legitimate run threat, and then somebody has to go figure out where Deuce is at just because his abilities from a, his skill set allows you to be a receiver as well. So in the ideal world, would Jacardi at right become more involved in, in the offense? Needs to keep doing that. He's 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 a you know he probably weighs twenty more pounds than than either Deuce or or Joe. Um, I thought that he had a uh, two weeks ago had had a couple good runs. Um, I I think that um, he. He's going to keep coming along. I, I think the biggest thing is him being that much more comfortable in the stage that he's in, and us having that much more confidence that he'll handle that stage. Um, and and the more chances he gets, the better he'll do. You mentioned having to throw the football a little bit more this week. If you get into a position where maybe you fall behind in the game, or you need to throw the football, how com how confident are you that Will Howard and both Jared and Lewis can? Well, I'm I'm confident. I'm confident, and the and the reason I am is because I. I uh, I believe that our wide receivers trust those guys, and trust is the biggest part of, of having a really, really good passing game. It's it's the quarterback receivers on the same page, tight ends included, obviously, um, that that they trust each other and are going to make plays for each other. Anything else? Perfect. All right, thanks. Thanks, guys.